hello guys so in this video we are going to solve this problem which is from pathfinder uh, this problem is from the chapter work power and energy uh, methods of work and energy and uh, this is the problem number 12 from check your understanding exercise so you can look at it once uh, before looking at the solution so let's begin so in this problem we have uh, been said that a special box is used to store several plate like articles containing a light spring loaded piston inside it when the box is empty, the piston touches the uh, top inner surface of the box. The plates can be inserted or pulled out through an opening at the top of the box as shown in the figure. Initially, the box contains n equals to 20 identical square plates, each, uh, each of edge length L equals to 5 cm. Coefficient of friction between all the surfaces in contact is mu equals to 0 0.5. All the plates are pulled out one by one in two different trials. In the first trial, the opening was at the top and then in the second trial, the box was inverted if difference is in the work done by the agent pulling uh, the plates in both these trials is delta w equals to 10 joule calculate the mass of a plate okay so in this for simplicity we will assume that uh, uh, when uh, no plates is, are in the box the normal uh, or the spring is in uncompressed or unextended state uh, which means uh, the, uh, it is re in relaxed state uh, you, you will see that it doesn't matter if it was compressed or initially at relaxed state because the force uh, uh, the force between two positions matters only on the distance between them rather than the initial and final conditions so uh, first of all uh, let's look at trial one in trial one let, uh, i assume that the normal force between the top plate and the top uh, top surface of the box is n1 and, uh, and the force between the lowest plate and that between the spring is k delta x times n here i assume that delta x is the width of each plate and as there are n plates the extension in the spring would be delta x times n so it is k, k delta x times n and one more thing that uh, the normal force between the first plate and second plate will be n1 plus mg as uh, which can be which we can get easily from the force balance of the first plate for force balance and on the first plate so uh, so the equations here we can get are uh, n1 plus n times mg will be equals to k delta x times n so from here we get that n1 equals to n times k delta x minus mg right now uh, while removing plate 1 the forces on it will be uh, mu n1 and mu times n1 plus mg which is the at the top surface of the first plate and at the bottom surface of the first plate so the work work done in removing the first plate will be uh, first plate will be equals to mu times uh, n1 plus n1 plus mg times l l is the distance of edge length of the plate the distance which will, be, will have been traveled by it so it will give us mu times now 2n1 uh, from the above if we substitute we get 2 uh, n into k delta x minus mg plus mg into l now similarly working for trial 2 and uh, as trial 2 has the similar notations we will get the equations that k delta x into n minus sorry plus n into mg will be equals to n2 so from here n2 equals to n times k delta x plus mg and uh, after that uh, similarly uh, uh, while removing plate 2 the work done for for the first plate will be equal to mu times n2 plus n2 minus mg into l so here uh, again substituting from above we get that this this is equals to 2n2 times uh, 2n2 minus mg and uh, that will be 2 times n times k delta x plus mg minus mg into l okay so 
now uh, the difference uh, difference between these two for for the removal for the just first plate delta w for the first two first plate in the two cases will be equals to mu times l times 2n times 2mg right now uh, this uh, note, note that this is just for the first plate so uh, when when we'll substitute n for n minus 1 we'll get the work done for the second plate for if we substitute n equals to n minus 2 we'll get the work for the second plate so uh, sorry the third plate and so on uh, so uh, the total work will be the sum of this series uh, when we replace n by all natural numbers from n equals to 1 to n so uh, when summi when we sum it up we get that mu times l times 2 times n into n plus 1 over 2 by the simple series sum formula and 2mg so this is the difference in the work in the two cases so we get from here is 2 mu m g l into n times n plus 1 right and this is given to be uh, something delta w so from here we get that mass of each plate equals to delta w by 2 mu g l into n into n plus 1 so substituting the all the values here we get that delta w is 10 joule 2 times uh, sorry I forgot the values of mu and so here the mu was 0 0.5 L is 5 centimeter and n equals to 20 and w delta w equals to 10 joule so substituting all the values here we get 2 times 0 0.5 times g is taken to be 10 here and uh, L is 0 0.05 times 20 times 21 so calculating this we, we get 0 0.0476 kg and uh, here if we take g equals to 9.8 we are getting something like 0 0.0485 and uh, and I feel that in the answer they have approximated n, n times n plus 1 to be approximately equals to n square uh, and using this approximation we get the answer to be approximately 0 0.51 so yeah the final answer is just rounded off to which is 0 0.05 kg so yeah this is the final answer thank you